Hello everybody, welcome back to the modlock. We are jumping in again and this time we are back to Bertrand. He is, of course, the character that we're going to have the most trouble with. Our first run of him, though, as you can see, we completed a hell of a lot. We don't have to rush for speed this time, which is really nice. So I think this time we're probably going to try and go maybe Beast, Mother, or Dark Path. We've got a few different options. By the way, for those of you wondering why I'm not attempting Greed Mode yet, I'm a bit scared of Greed Mode. Some of the other characters, uh, sorry, some of the other people playing in the Nuzlocke have had significant issues. Um, so I'm a little bit worried to go for that, but the apple here, I don't know how that's going to work, but I'm very happy for the fire rate increase that it gave us nonetheless. Um, so we'll, we'll just see. We'll just see. But anyways, as for question of the day, someone left on my Discord that I found pretty interesting. Um, how is it that you upcycle? How is it that you, um, that you go about recycling things and making things new? I know there's a lot of you out there that, um, maybe haven't done that so much, but it'd be interesting to hear maybe if your family has, or maybe some ways that you'd look to do it in the future. Um, I'm quite a frugal person in, in the way that I just tend to try to save money where I can. So upcycling, making sure, try, so trying to make things new is is quite a common practice for us. Um, what, one of the biggest ways we do that is essentially using various different boxes from um, packaging as boxes for rubbish. <laughs> Basically, uh, for our recycling, we have like a, a cardboard box that we got from like a big packet of crisps and when I worked at, um, at a, a shop before, which I've had, we've now had for a really long time. Um... I think I want to use another bomb on this. It's a little risky, but... Okay, we got another bomb back, and I'm going to use another bomb here now. Good stuff. Okay, I think that was well worth it. It got us up to 15 cent, which I really wasn't expecting. Very happy to see that. Let's um go here, and I might be able to get into my secret room as well here. Broken Murdom is fantastic here. Very, very nice. Remote Detonator is kind... Remote Detonator is kind of an interesting one. Um... I'm very much tempted to grab that, so I'm going to check for secret room here real quick. Good, good, and hope for money. Unfortunately, it's not money. We might be able to get some out of this guy, though. We did. And I'm going to take remote detonator, because it gives us five bombs. But also, remote detonator has got some interesting quirks about it that can make it quite useful. Um, I think first things first, I'm just going to quickly blow this up. Like I said, we're taking our sweet, sweet time as this guy right now, so we really don't have to rush. And look at all that stuff that we got there. Okay, this has been a, a very, very fruitful first floor. Um, I'm also going to try for a secret room here as well. Thank God we got it. Unfortunately, not a particularly useful one. Um, but I'm pretty happy with this. I'm pretty happy. We'll see how this goes. Also, I think Remote Detonate with Bertrand is more useful than with other characters because of the way he interacts with bombs. He has a pretty uh, interesting way of, like, hitting around bombs. He can basically, like, dink them with his head and uh, make them go wherever he wants. So we can kind of play around with that to, to more easily aim and target our bombs before we explode them, which I think is going to be quite nice. Especially considering this guy doesn't have a lot of damage. One of the main reasons this character gets quite a lot of flack from a lot of the people in the Nuzlocke and others as well, including myself, why some people don't really like him as much, is because he tends to have very, very low damage. Like, we, we're noticing now that he's just taking a while to kill things. Um, and it's not like an insane degree. It's not crazy. Also, damage there is perfect. A soul heart's really nice. Um, let's try to go the mother path to start with. We might be able to get mother. I'd like to get mother out of the way with early if we can. So we'll take the mother path to begin with and kind of see how we go from there. Um, but yeah, we'll see how we go. We'll see how we go. He just tends to be a character that really suffers from um, from low damage. I realize I'm not using his moveset to the fullest at the minute as well. Uh, that's a really good pickup for us. Does... Can can you get over that? I don't know. I don't know. And also, he's got some other issues as well, like getting flight and it not actually giving him flight, things like that. That tends to uh, annoy a lot of people. We did get a golden penny here, which I'm just going to crack open. It also cracked open the secret room, which I was not expecting. Uh, missed that guy, unfortunately. Broken Murdom's going to give us so many consumables here. It's going to be great. Also, this is going to give us some bombs. So we've, we've now got a, a pretty good synergy with uh, Remote Detonator, which I'm very, very happy to see. It depends how much this Golden Penny ends up lasting for. We might as well do that and grab this bomb here, because why not? Um, yeah, this Golden Penny didn't last long. Still good, though. Take out you. 
I really like the fact that you can take out the keepers with this guy's uh, head. It's quite useful. Let's pop in through here. Um, take that out. Damn. Okay, so BFF is probably a good pickup. It's not something that we are going to be utilizing right now, of course. Like, we're not going to get basically any use out of it yet. But we might get more out of it soon. Get that guy while he's broken murdered. Get our pip there. Very nice. I think the apple is actually pretty good for um, our head slams, to be honest. I didn't expect it to be so. Goddamn broken murder. You're the best. And blusty good here when taking damage. Um, it's for the current floor, so I think it's worth it. Eternal D6 would have been good, but I'm actually really, really uh, happy to have my um, remote detonator here. So it would have been a hard choice to get rid of that. Um, yeah, I think um, Gusty Blood here, it's it's perfectly fine. I get Obviously, it's on hit, so it's not super useful. Because um, it means that some floors we might not get it active till late. But I suppose it's, it's a benefit for, for very little cost, because we're going to be taking hits anyways. Nice. Try and take these guys out. This is a pretty tough little enemy here. Ooh, revealed a crawl space for us, though. Wasn't expecting that. And it's a black market, too. Really wasn't expecting that. Okay, let's check this out. A turtle heart's awesome. Um... I think Steam Sale is definitely worth it here. And I think we, we head on our way. Good, good. The rest of the stuff there isn't particularly good. I mean, Potato Peeler with BFF has potential to be good. But I wouldn't want to risk tra trading away too much HP with this guy. I've got to be honest. I think trading away too much HP with this guy could be really problematic. Let's also grab this and see if it's anything good. It's an Ace of Spades, which I think is worth carrying. Considering we'd like bombs here. That's a pretty that was a pretty good crawl space though. I'll take that one and be pretty happy with it. We haven't found secret room this floor. We can go back and take a little look at that if we want. This is a champion version of this guy. I don't know what it does, but it shouldn't be too hard of a champion. Especially considering Broken Murdom seems to have completely bugged that guy out. Wow. That's a lot of health to gain here. Um, that's a lot of health to gain. I, I don't think we want to go Devil Deal. I don't know, though. Devil Deal's kind of a weird one. I'm going to check it out at least. Hmm. Brimstone Bombs is really good, but I'm going to take this instead. I do like the idea of Brimstone Bombs just because we have this pretty awesome bomb synergy setup going on. And I'm really tempted to take it, I am. But it would put my health down to a, a very risky amount. Yeah, I'm going to leave it. I realise that's probably a weird decision. But yeah, I'm going to leave it. Uh, and let's go look for our secret room. So I think it's going to be here. It's not there. Oh, we've already found the regular secret room. That's that's me being stupid. Okay, second secret room is, is, is hopefully a little more obvious. Damn it. Um, hmm. Hmm. I am willing to waste a few bombs here to find this. I'll go down to two. Because we are going to get more back. I don't, I'm not super, super worried about that. Really? I have zero idea where it could be. Okay, I guess we're leaving. But yeah, I took contract from below for one specific reason. And that reason is that in combination with... Um, in combination with Broken Murdom, it should give us quite a lot of consumables. Like, quite a lot. So I think that combination there is pretty darn good. Got a pip there, very nice. Wasn't expecting it. We'll see if it works the way I think it does. But basically what I'm expecting is we'll get a double room reward from contract from below and then both of those can glitch out um, from Broken Murder and give us four times the payout at the end of a room, essentially. I don't know if that's how it'll work. It might just end up being three times. Okay, we've got all of our pips filled very quickly this floor, which is really nice. We'll just see. We'll see, we'll see when it ends up paying out, if it ends up paying out and all that jazz. 
I really, really, really hate these enemies with Bertrand. Had to do the spin move there to get them done. Okay, we have lost some health as this guy already, which is not particularly good. Good. So we got double bombs there. That's obviously fine. For God's sake. Okay, at least we're getting a lot of um, stat increases for this. There's doubled chests and golden key. Soul heart there is very, very nice. Ace of spades in this room. Yep. Puts our key situation in a much better spot. D20, we don't want. Slip trip's fine by me. It's protection. And with BFF, it's bigger. Ooh, we get stopwatch here, which is obviously fantastic. I'd very much like to grab, um... Do you know what? Let's grab the soul heart first, but I'd very much like to grab tarot reading if we can. The soul heart's a little bit more important right now. So far, so good on this run, though. Stopwatch is a huge, huge grab. Obviously, it's a speed up, which is important, but... Slowing the game down is just going to make our life a hell of a lot easier. So we haven't actually had a glitched pickup yet. But also a broken modem plus the stopwatch is going to mean more triggers. Because they're just around for more often. Devil card here. I really hate these flies, Spertran. They're so hard to avoid. Dude, the fucking flies. Stop. They're so bullshit. <laughs> I got hit so many times there. God damn it. Right. Um. Okay, let's do our mirror room now. We got hit a lot there. Like, way too much, actually. Right, just be careful of our speed. We unfortunately have quite the journey to get to our item room. We have to traverse through many a room, which is going to be quite risky. But we do have good fire rate and stuff. Just play very, very reserved. Okay, nice. Some extra bombs there. I feel like my head is moving, like, way slower. And I feel like that's because of the stopwatch. Is that the case? Is my head moving slower because of the stopwatch? So I feel like my fire rate should be faster and it's significantly slower because it's like a game object. Like it's not attached to my body anymore. So these are the rooms where I need to be really careful, of course. Okay, so that did work there. Nice. Where, where am I going? Okay, that was scary. I don't know where I'm going either. I started going the wrong way. Just be very cautious about the flies. Stay out of their way when we need to. Kill it before we kill him if, if possible. Plausible? 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 At this point, I'm just trying to use the fires to uh, take these guys out. My god, I'm so scared right now. Okay, this room we didn't actually end up doing, so we've got to be very cautious. I'm actually 100% sure now that that is exactly what's happening. That our head has been slowed down by stopwatch, which is bullshit. Because stopwatch isn't supposed to affect us. Alright, quickly check in the shop to see if there's a thingy machine. There isn't. Okay, that was very scary. <laughs> I lost my holy mantle way, way too many times to be comfortable with. But we did it. We got it. Let's get gone. I really hated that. <laughs> really hated that. But we're good to go now. Oh, Lord. That was, that was incredibly scary. <laughs> Where am I going now? Oh, my God. This is... Bloody cares them is so confusing. Um, secret room wise, do we actually have a bead on secret room? Very possibly could be here. It is indeed. 
Got some pills. I'm not super interested in taking those. Yeah, I think Stopwatch is really fucking with us right now. Synth oil's incredible. Take that as well. Okay, good. I mean, it's, it's, it's fine because the, the enemies are still slowing down and it is making Stopwatch better, but it is still annoying that it's being treated the way that it is, or at least I think it is. It might just be my brain playing tricks on me, to be honest. That's a good trinket, but the trinket we've got right now is so good. Let's keep it. Right. On our way. On our way out of here. Second secret room isn't particularly worthwhile, but I will blow this up. See what we get. Okay. Through we go. I, I'm, I'm reasonably confident. It's, I'm, I'm still just wavering a little bit here under the pressure. Sadly, Burnt Penny isn't really doing so hot right now. Um, don't think much of that does too much for us. Oh god, just all around stressy. Okay, let's try and build back up our meter on these guys. Damn it, that didn't really work. That actually killed that guy in one hit, wow. We got a dice room here as well, we've got so many keys, let's just check it out. It's a three room, rerolls all pickups and trinkets on the floor. Doubles our bombs. I'll just use that now. I realise I could probably get more use out of that later, but I'd rather just have more bombs now. Rather nice. Okay. Quickly check this out. Secret room-wise... I feel like either of those could be... Oh, that was me being really dumb there. I just cost myself a whole soul heart for literally no reason other than I wasn't patient. I used my um, remote detonator before I was out of the blast radius and took a full soul heart. That's, that's, that's like just ridiculously high levels of dumb. I love the fact that they can delete projectiles like that. Like the one that they drop to create fire. Do some pip farming here. Decent. I'm a little worried about my HP now, I'll be honest. That, that makes me feel a whole lot better. A whole lot better. Yeah, also our bomb economy is doing really well. I really wish I'd taken brimstone bombs, but I think my health would have just been in so much of a dire state that I'd be worrying the whole time. I love the little dink that he does when he hits something. Like a bomb. So satisfying. Like, that's just perfect. Look at all those charge keys. Got them. Ball of Tar. Ball of Tar's decent. Eden's Blessing probably would have been better, but Ball of Tar's decent. Sadly, we still don't have any synergies with this guy. Like, proper synergies. This looks secret roomy to me. Damn it. This is going to be a pretty hellish room, I think. Okay, no, we we just about got it, I think. Yeah, we did. That was that that could have been a hellish room. That was Why did that not go where I wanted it to at all? This is a bit of a rough room as well, actually. Looking at it. Oh, 
Okay, that, that didn't target the right enemy at all, but it still worked out. That was bad. Yeah, slowing enemies even further is going to be pretty awesome here. I need to die, dude. Wait, what? He's still alive. Okay, the room just took that long. God damn, this character sometimes. Okay, this is going to be a particularly annoying one, I think. Good thing is we can do what I just did there. Which is probably what I'm going to be doing for the most part. Where's he going to land? Okay. Okay. That worked out in the end. Pentagram is awesome here. Soul Heart's really good. The Pact... The Pact leaves us in a, in a difficult position for health, but I think we're going to take it because the, the damage is just too good. And we keep going down. The, the sort of the biggest problem I'm having here now is just the issue of um, the potential of... Sort of the potential of us needing to go down to the mine, uh, the, the mausoleum, and not really having the health to do so. I feel like that seems like it could be problematic. I, I love the fact that our consumable game is just completely fine. And also, our damage is now at a point where we're one-shotting certain enemies that I wouldn't have expected us to, so I'm very happy about that. Oh, that was a really bad hit. You need to be very careful about being hit at this point, because it's all going to stack up in a very negative light. <laughs> we need more range as well. Range would be nice here. Good, good. Anarchist cookbook. It is a book, at least. <laughs> it's a shame we can't hold both. If we could hold both, that would be pretty useful. A two shot in those guys is pretty incredible. Okay, we should be able to get our pips this floor as well by the looks of things. Okay. Oh wait, <laughs> it works for those bombs too? I did not expect that. Gonna have to remember that during the uh, mom chase. Come on, just a single soul heart, please. Damn it, would make my life so much better. Beautiful. The Ong we can't take. Not that I would anyways, to be honest. <laughs> okay, let's be careful of those. We can actually pip farm on this room. There you go. We got all our damage ups. Very nice. The late game pips become very valuable because they just increase your damage by so much. Okay, what you got for his item room? The body is insanely good. Now, this other thing is synergistic, but the body is just way too valuable right now. It was Proptosis. I'm actually pretty glad I didn't take that. I I don't want anything that's going to be lowering my range, I'll be honest. Also, look how hench we are now. That's beautiful. Yeah, some of the synergistic is good, but this much health is, is invaluable to us right now. Um... Doesn't do too much for us, by the way. I think we buy this. Yeah. I guess we buy this, because why wouldn't we? Strength is pretty nice here. I'll take that. Then we've got a few more rooms to do. Oh my god, my guy looks so hench. <laughs> he looks awesome. That's so funny. I love this. Being able to see the damage we're doing now is pretty nice. We're actually doing pretty good damage here. Yeah, I thought that was secret room. Sadly, not a great secret room, but a secret room nonetheless. Okay. Dude, I'm actually really happy with our health doing the chase sequence now. I think we're in a way better spot than we were. 
I don't know what what speed this guy starts with. I feel like it's higher than default. It is, yeah. Okay. If it normally if a character has higher than default's movement speed, I'm usually pretty confident I won't get hit. If they have default or below, then I'm usually a little more iffy. By the way, we have remote detonator right now, but it's not active, so I don't know how it's gonna work. Am I still gonna have to use it to detonate the bombs? I hope not, because I can't. <laughs> Surely that's a bug that's, that's like, that would have been known about by now, if that was the case. I'm sure that isn't the case. Okay. Good, good. Rooms have been a breeze so far. Okay, no, they do detonate properly good. Let's give you one more little rush a -roo. Okay, that's this room done as well. Okay, this was really smooth sailing so far. I don't know, do I need the key? I can't remember, I think I do. I don't, I don't, you don't need the key, but it's a lot easier if you get the key. Okay, that went really smoothly. That has made me way more confident for Mausoleum now. Just make sure we actually go to the Mausoleum, don't forget. Ooh, it, very interesting room style here. Just because there's, there's literally tracks covering every inch of this place, which I wasn't expecting. Okay, brimstone bombs here. I don't know if I'm actually... Okay, I was. I wasn't sure if I was actually out of the radius for that. some extra bombs there we actually got even more bombs out of that and then yeah i'm really actually very confident going down to mausoleum we've got a knife and it's a bfft knife which is pretty damn good okay for a mother run with this character wasn't expecting it to be going as well as it is so far we're not out of the woods yet i have to say um i'll take this you know wasn't super useful we're not out of the woods yet but we're in a very good position Dude, can you, like, do the head slam? Oh, my God. Sometimes the head slam is so inconsistent. It, like, doesn't target certain enemies correctly at all. Some of them, it, like, reaches across the whole room, and other ones, it's just like, no. Like that. Look, at it didn't target that guy at all. I don't know why. I should have four pips by now. So this is another area where we can pip farm slightly, so I'm going to try and do that. We're doing 105 damage per hit, apparently. God damn. Okay. We don't need to pip farm for long. I'd, li I'd like to get one more here. He needs to spawn the spiders, really. It's goddamn glitching all the time. It's so annoying. Can you stay away from that spider? Spider, don't go near that. Don't kill that. There you go. That's really good on the pip farming there. This is kind of an interesting room. Gotta just use the traps to our advantage. Good, good. Okay, we got full pips. Damage is looking decent enough. Good, good, good. 
We're able to kill a lot of big enemies in one hit with one of those, which is really nice. I'm kind of saving up a lot of bombs here at the minute that I don't really need to be saving. Goddamn broken murder. That's pretty good, but I'm still pretty happy with my bomb synergy right now. What the hell's this? We got mechanical eye. It's an orbital by the looks of things. Have you survived? Wow. Yeah, I don't know what this mechanical eye does, but it's BFF'd, so I'm happy with it. I realised that obviously the safer choice would have been to go for, um... To go for, uh, what's it called? Book of Revelations. It would have been actually a very good choice, but I'm more interested in the run that we have going on right now. Regular old strength card. I'm, keep, I'm keeping my reverse strength card here because I feel like it could be very valuable. Okay, I didn't even realize there was brimstones there for a second. Got rid of the brimstony boy. A lot of the time, Slipped Rib is going to be saving us here as well. I've not really been giving it enough credit, but it has already saved us a good few times. Damn. Savage game right there. This is Mausoleum 1, right? Well, Gehenna 1, you know what I mean. I remember the longest time I was so confused whether I was saying Gehenna right or not. And I still, I'm still not fully convinced I do say it right, but I just say it this way now. It's, it's how I always will say it. <laughs> Gehenna. Like, Slip Rib just saved me there. Like, look how, look how good that is. He's almost dead. Always confusing me with this, because the mask has health as well. I can't remember if the actual mask stays alive or not, and it never does. <laughs> HP here. That's 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 pretty obviously not a take. Quickly grab this bomb, try and bomb this as well. And away we go. <clears throat> okay, in a good position. Okay, went for the wrong enemy there. That's not good. If we can farm, we'll farm. That's good. We need as many pips as we can get. Because the thing is that the more pips you get, the more valuable they are. Like the more up damage, damage upgrades you get from this, the more they're worth. We really want to take advantage. Of, we could have farmed off that mask there, I think. We really want to try and take advantage as much as we can here. So this is a, a good example of where we might be able to farm. Okay, no, this guy is just getting faster and faster. I doubt we can farm this. Yeah, sadly not. Sun card's brilliant here. We'll use that. I'm just going to use another one in here. Here comes the sun. Good, good. Item room and shop all in one. Oh, whoopsie. That was a very bad hit on my behalf. Another book there. Another book there. Does that, does Herming do anything for this guy? I don't think it does. That's that's a bit sad to get double books on our item room. We got a Joker, Ace of Hearts, Ace of Diamonds, two of clubs. So du doubling our bombs. Actually, okay, so I think what we want to do here is we want to go Ace of Diamonds. Let's um, just quickly finish off this room here. Okay, so we want to do this. Okay, we, we have a play here. We have a play here. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, okay, okay. 
Let's let's go ahead over here. I've got something interesting that I want to do that should work out reasonably well. Okay, good. Do these extra rooms down here, why not? Don't know what that card is. Damn it. Didn't do anything. We got only got one more pip to fill, though. We should be able to do that in these next few rooms. I did not realize what type of room this was for a second. That scared me. Okay, pips filled. Okay, so this room here, perfect room. We just got to take everything out real quick. And then cutting into humanity. We don't need money, remember? Really? Oh, we got petrified poop here. Grab that real quick. I'm really just looking for soul hearts and the like. Right. Then we come back over here. Yeah, so then actually, wait, no, no, no. Hmm. Yeah, then we grab... Hmm. Let me just figure this out. I've, I've forgotten the steps to my plan. <laughs> I had a plan in place. I have since forgotten the plan. I need to go back to the shop and realize what the plan is. Okay, we've got Duplicate our Bombs, Joker, and Ace of Hearts. So, I think we... But yeah, we grab that first. I think we want to pick up all the coins, spawn as many bombs as we possibly can. Oh, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 okay, okay, okay. I've now, I've now since realized, I've now since realized. Okay, so, we want to grab this first. We want to come back over here. We want to grab as many of the coins as we can, and then turn the rest into coins. So... Really, really want to grab the dimes, because um, nickels, because then we can turn everything else into nickels or dimes. So we go, we go and grab that, that. That already gives us bombs. That and that. And then the rest of this we ace of diamonds. That turns into coins. We didn't get many nickels there, but then we pick all of this up in the hopes that we get a bunch of bombs, which so far we're getting quite a few. Not as many as I was hoping for, but we're getting quite a few. Nice. Okay, this was, this was enough. This was enough. Right, then we head back. Wish I'd have left a soul heart on the floor. That would have been nice, wouldn't it? God damn it. Screw you. And we come back over here. I'm so annoyed I got hit by that fucking moving thing there. That's so stupid of me. Come back over here, we then grab this, we duplicate our bombs to get up to 60 bombs. Then we Joker card, which is this one. I would like Lump of Coal, please. So my slam attack there just didn't register again. Sadly, we've got Krampus's head. That's a really clutch eternal heart there. Thank you. Hop out of here. We grab this. And we skedaddle skadoodle. We now have a lot of bombs for the boss fight should we need it. Which I think will be pretty useful considering we've got this set up. Would have been nicer with brimstone bombs, but you know. Damn it. I'm so annoyed that I got hit by the spinny thing. I should have just gone through the other door that's safer. This door down here is way safer. There's also a poop still there, apparently. There's a few poops still here. What the hell? Ow. Where did you come from? Right, boss time. This is going to be a pretty slow boss, I think. Is this triple foot? No, it's not. It's normal foot. This is triple foot. This is an annoying enemy to get in this room. I had a feeling it had hit me. It most certainly did. 
Damn it, missed that. Dude, stop with this enemy, please. I really think if you bomb those guys, they just shouldn't split. This is really difficult because I'm just, the foot's just not moving in the right direction for me. This is triple foot, I think. No. Oh, what the hell? It bounced the other way. This is triple foot. Okay, risky. We then take that, of course. We actually got Soha out of that, which is really nice. That didn't kill you, the eye? Fuck. Sometimes the game just does not agree with you. I actually think we want to use almost exclusively bombs here. I realise that I need some for Mother, but I'm, I'm really worried about our current positioning and how many times I'm going to get hit here. Okay. That wasn't so bad. We only got hit once. Right. Down to the next floor. Still, we've still got almost 50 bombs left. We're probably going to have around 50 once we get to Mother. You also have a lot of money right now, which I guess I'll play into you, because why not? I don't really know what you could give me that would be good. Charge, baby? It's, it stuns enemies. I can't fault that. Nice. Okay, the maggots are pretty good for pip filling. So, why was it stating that I was doing like 100 damage before and now I'm doing 12? <laughs> what's, what's happened here? It was stating before that I was doing like 100 damage. Was that just a miscalculation on the game's behalf? I think so. Nice. I think we're going the right way as well. <laughs> Say that and immediately prove that I've gone the wrong way. Ooh, half a soul heart here. Yes, please. Excuse me? <laughs> How was I meant to get that? I'm confused. Doesn't matter. It's gone. <laughs> right. Keep going. That did give us a pip. I wasn't, wasn't expecting it to. Oh, for fuck's sake. I bloody hate the um, grimaces in this game. It hit me so much. Okay, so remember these guys do drop maggots. Okay, pips are filled. A little bit, look at that, 1,324 damage. What's going on with that? No reason to do that room. Just a waste of our time. Okay, sadly we went all the wrong way. I really thought we were on the right track there. Clearly not. The fuck hit me then? Must have been one of the side shots off one of these guys. Yeah, these guys love maggots as well. I am liking our slam attack here. I still would like a bit more range. Okay, that killed you incredibly quickly. Wasn't expecting that. That was like insane damage. Okay, boss time already. Aimed for the wrong guy, but oh well. So weird how it like locks onto one target. And it's like hard to dis to like delatch it from that target. There must be like a target swap button that I don't know about. Or something along those lines. Okay, we are now good to go. So this is not the most ideal boss I was really hoping for Chimera or whatever he's called. Just because this is a boss that I, I really don't know very well. 
One good thing is this boss has a lot of, like you said, like I, like I just showed, kind of weak points. Also, it is getting really glitched out at the minute by um, Broken Murden by the looks of it. Oh, what the hell? That was a really bullshit attack. Okay, it looks like we got other... Health is now looking not so hot. The center definitely helps with that. Neither of these help with that. Okay. Okay. Last floor. Feeling a bit risky. Feeling a bit... I don't know. <laughs> not good. But there's a lot of things that can go right for us here. We'll pick up the golden penny just for the chance of extra bombs until it does that. Which I kind of felt it was going to do quite early, to be honest. Do not like this room. What are you doing, you stupid little... Oh, that was so dumb, that way that ghost moved then. That was not... That was not how them things normally move. It kind of, like, shot across the whole room in one... I, I fucking... I absolutely despise these little twirling bastards. Which make life hell. I don't know if we're going to be able to get our pips filled before the end of this. Oh, soul heart, thank you. For the end of this floor. Also, always tend to forget, yeah, what that guy does when he moves. Okay. These twitchies are really, really getting on my nerves right now. God damn. Okay, this is actually a really good pit farming room. Good. Come on, fella. Do your thing. Just a few more. Just a few more. If broken murder makes this process so much more tedious than it has to be. There you go. Pips filled. We got some damage up. Very nice. I feel like I'm going to get hit in this room. Okay. We've come to this stage, and I'm pretty happy. I don't know if Tarot Cloth does anything for um, reverse strength. I think it increases the duration, if I remember correctly. I can't remember. Right. You're taking double damage. Obviously, bombs are going to be crucial for us here. Are you taking... Oh, you're taking double bomb damage. No, okay, this is easy. I did not realize you'd take but double bomb damage also. The, the girl, the big girl didn't even bother to fire. She was like, nah. <laughs> I did not realize reverse strength would work with bombs. This is like said and done now. Like, look at the amount of damage they did <laughs> with no boss armor. Hell yes. Anyways, that is Mother Complete. Very stressful one, but I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in the next one.